Welcome back guys, so today we're gonna be some more Cast Crush and guys today we're gonna to check out the new deck and it's the one right here and it's kind of a power rush deck you can see that we got these high mana cards like the Black Knight, the Mud and the Executioner and then we got the Crystals and we got the Mana Ritual to get them out faster we also got this Stanberg which is a really good card to have in a rush deck we also got some defensive capabilities with the Arrows and the Inferno like arrows right now, that's pretty much a must in like all decks now with the Boneyard. Inferno, that's also perfect in this deck, both versus like skeletons, as well as the Black Witch. Like a lot of times, people try to use the Black Witch versus like your Black Knight, or even push back when you use Stanburn and use a Black Witch on that. So Inferno, that's almost a must in this deck. And as you can see, we do have the Boneyard in this deck, and that's kind of a gamble. Because if you don't get that early on in the game, it's kind of useless. Because with the Boneyard, you do want to have as many cards in your hand as possible. So that's also something that you need to watch out for with this deck when you got Crystals and Manor Trolls. So for example, if you got two Crystals in your starting hand, you got two Black Knights and you got one Orc. You don't want to use the Crystals early on and like use both of them at the same time. And then have like three cards left. And then the next card, you get the Boneyard. Instead, you want to keep a full hand if you do get the Boneyard as the next card. So guys, that's pretty much it about this deck. We're gonna check it out, and so far, I've been pretty successful with this one. So we'll see how we can do it today, guys. Let's go. Right, let's see what we can do. So we do have the Mana Troll, so we can play, play that if we want to, but we don't have any other cards to play after that right now. Okay, so our opponent is running with the A part here with the mana trolls, so let's see now. Okay, we got four mana, we got the arrows. Okay, this is kind of bad, I'm just gonna move the standard bird, then use like a executioner thing, and then we're gonna use the arrows. Because we don't want to waste the mana troll on arrows. So we're gonna use the arrows right there, take our skeletons. And the A part that needs to go as well, but we don't have any range units in this deck, so that's kind of a bit unfortunate. I'm just gonna go with the Inferno right there, take care of that. Okay, so what are we doing as the A-Part? I think that we... Okay, we're gonna use the Orc there versus the, the Catapult. We're gonna use this, and then like a Mud on the A-Part. So let's go with the Mud. This is gonna be close, guys. This is gonna be close. So now let's just go with the Boneyard. Hopefully we can stop his Skeletons. And our Skeletons, they are the same level. Now we need to watch out for the bottom lane right there, or the mid lane. Like the skeletons right here, they, they could take care of our castle, that would be really unfortunate. Okay, so now we can turn this around guys, I think we're gonna get it. Let's see, there we go guys, perfect. Like, that was a surprisingly close game right there. Like, both the A part right there and the catapult, they did so much damage. Okay, so let's see now, we do the crystals, but we're just gonna wait for the next card, we might get the boneyard. Right, we got the nature hill, which is kind of good, I guess. Okay, so starting with spikes there, too, let's see the next card. We got mana troll, alright. So this might go quite good. Okay, he's using a, a angel. Let's see the next card. Stanber. Okay, look at this, guys. We're just gonna dodge the, the spikes there, so we're gonna go, go like this, and then we're gonna use a, a Stanber. Look at this. There we go. That's gonna take care of the angel and the mage in one hit. Look at that, guys. So we just completely avoided those spice that right there, that's so fun. Okay, so we're gonna go with a black knight right there. I think we're gonna use a heal spell on the mud, yes we are. Like that, and then maybe a inferno. He might have like the black, which we're just gonna wait. Okay, we're gonna use the inferno right now. Gonna take care of the pirate, we're gonna take care of the mage. We're just gonna use the arrows right there, take care of the archers and that spice statue. Not that spice statue really did any damage to us, but... That's kind of like a plus that we got that in the hit as well. Okay, so that Orc's Queen, that's going to do a ton of damage. Okay, took care of that with Demon, that's unfortunate for us. Okay, look at this, we got four Executioners in this hand, look at that. So we're using one there in the bottom lane, we're gonna go with a Black Knight. I think our Executioner will do it there versus the Dread. Okay, looking like it, guys. We're just gonna use the Inferno right there, or the Natrial. Like, he didn't pay too much attention there to the Black Knight and its health. 
was more worried about the executioner there versus the the dread and the angel. Okay, guys, we got victory right there. We got an insane push right there with skeletons, black knight, and executioners. Like we had so many executioners in our hand, like that was just crazy. We had four at the same time. Okay, look at this. A bit better this time. We got the boneyard. We got the crystals. So let's see in our next card, we're gonna get a, a mud, we're gonna use crystal, and then in the next card we're gonna use the boneyard. So we can get out those 14 skeletons. So let's go guys, let's go with the boneyard. Okay, so this guy is running with the, the skeleton swarm, can we get like, we get arrows, alright. So I'm just gonna ignore skeletons there in the mid lane, and then we're gonna use the arrows on that. But now it's super good guys because we don't have the black knights. And now he just used his his black witch. So hopefully he doesn't have any defense against it, we'll see. He might have like the vampire, we never know. Okay, demon that is a good counter, we're gonna use a, a mud. Okay, we did not get a nature there in time guys. But look at this, we're gonna go with a manual and then we're gonna go with a black knight. So let's go with the black knight right there in the bottom lane, he got a... A spectre right there, I think our mud will take care of that, look at that guys, the mud will do it. So now let's just deal with this like level 6 skeletons, and let's use a nature right there. Then we're gonna go with the inferno, look at that clear path for the black knight, this is looking good guys, this is looking good. And now let's use the stunber, teleport them, speed them up, look at that. I'm just gonna use a nature, the execution was super low, the mud will do more damage, guys it's over. Look at that, what a game. Okay, so this time we got the Boneyard once again, we'll see if we can get the Crystal, that would be perfect. Mantral, that won't really work out right now because we don't want to sort out with the Boneyard. I'm just gonna move the Black Knight right there, we're gonna go with the Boneyard. And now the kind of bad thing is if we don't get the arrows right now, we're kind of defenseless against like the Boneyard like that with all the skeletons. I guess we can use the Orc and then use like Executioner. So not completely defenseless, I think we're gonna be just fine. So let's see now, we're gonna use a Executioner. Like Boneyard, that's doing so much damage, both at my castle as well as his. Okay, so a Skulking right there, let's see what we can do with that. More Skeletons, we're gonna go with the Inferno right here. Skulking or the, or the Executioner should take care of that, we'll see, I'm too late with the Inferno or the Natural, not gonna work. So we use the arrows, I'm just gonna go with a mud there in the mid lane, should take care of Skull King as well as Demon. Okay, even more Skull Kings. This is not good guys, not good at all. But I think we can defend this, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna go like that, we're gonna teleport all this here. And we don't have like a, a gust of wind, so we can't use that verse like the Spectre and just push it back. Okay, we're gonna heal it up. Okay, so Black Knight that is out, and now we need to deal with his Black Knight, and he got even more skeletons. I don't think we can do it, guys. We can't do that in time. Like, right now we're not doing too well. Like, what do we have so far? Like, a 56% win rate? Well, not too bad, but not ideal. So we can see if we can turn this around. Okay, so we got the Bone here, we're just gonna go super aggressive with that early on, and let's see what we can do. I think that we can go with like a orc after that as well. Okay, so let's go with the orc, then in the next mana we can use the black knight if we now use the mana troll. Okay, so use the arrows, we'll see, come on. Next mana. Okay, use the lightning there on the orc, so that's kind of perfect versus us, we can use the black knight. Okay guys, this guy is running with the overtime deck, use the arrows, inferno, and then a, a fortify. So let's see if we can overwhelm him, we don't have the Infernos, if he's going to use a Black Witch, he's going to take care of our entire push. Okay, now we get the Inferno, that's perfect, and he has to use the Inferno and Lightning. He's going to use a Defensive Meteor as well, we're with the Inferno. Will he go with the Black Witch? Doesn't seem like it guys, we're gonna go with the Excusure as well. Okay, so now it's looking pretty good, we get the Mud right there, we get the Black Knight. I might heal up the mud, okay we're gonna heal it up just so it can do even more damage, we're gonna go with the Inferno on the Skull King. Look at that guys, I think we got this. Like Executioner, we got the Black Knight, mud, he can't stop this. Not even with overtime. 
Right, so I put perfect game right there, we kind of turn it around, I would say. So now let's go for only victories, guys. The rest of this video, let's go for victories. Okay, so we're gonna go with the crystal, hopefully we can get like the bone yard or something like that, we'll see. Okay, so we got the the nature I'm gonna go with the manor troll. I might start off with the mud, we'll see the next card. Okay, we got the orc, so we're gonna go with the mud. Let's see using the skeletal swarm right there, it might be kind of a spam deck. And see using the protection, this is real bad for us. We'll see, okay, so we got the arrows, we'll get the inferno. So we can use both of them if we want to, we're just gonna go for it guys. Okay, it's gonna bring that back, so this is a spam deck guys, so we kind of need to watch out a bit. And now we need to get the execution out there in the bottom lane. Like, you got so many skeletons right there. But I think we can do this, guys. I think we can do it. Okay, he got a huge specter right there, and we don't have the stun so we can't teleport our man there and save it. And it's going to bring that back, so let's see. And now we got the stun so we can can use that. We're going to take out the skeletons, and then we're going to use the stun So look at this, guys. Teleport it up. And now we should do this. Like, skeleton up, that's pretty low. And we just dodged all those, like, all those specters. So look at that guys, we got the victory, perfect. So now, two victories in a row, let's make it free. Alright guys, quite interesting story that we got, like, we got none of these, like, high mana cards. Like Black Knight, nothing like that. Okay, we got the Executioner, let's see what we will remove. I'm just gonna remove the Stammer for now, it's kind of good to have the Arrows and the Inferno. So we're just gonna wait a bit and then use the Boneyard. So let's go for it now. Skeletons can take care of the phoenix, not even close. Alright, so now let's use the arrows, we will get the second boneyard in that as well. And our boneyard that's still doing work, I don't think he got the arrows, maybe. Okay, so let's, let's go for this, and let's go with the mud. Okay, so this guy's running with the boneyard and it's running with the skeleton legion as well. Okay, that phoenix that needs to go, we're gonna use the inferno fast. Yes guys, we took care of it. Like Phoenix that has been born three times, that is super dangerous. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna go with the execution right here. We do have a second one if it's going with even more skeletons. Because it seems like it's running with kind of a spam deck. So let's just go with the orc right here. I think we're gonna heal it up. Okay, we're gonna heal it up now. Perfect timing right there, perfect. Okay, so the vampire, so we're gonna lose our mud, that's unfortunate. The Vampire, that's not really a threat for us right now, that will die before it reaches the castle, unless it got the heal spell, but I don't think so. That's because running with a spam deck. So let's go with the Black Knight right there in the in the bottom lane, we're gonna go with the Inferno. Okay, so he got a second Vampire. That's gonna use the heal spell right there, we need to have the Black Knight, we took care of the Vampire and we got the Black Knight at full health, look at that. So now let's go with the Orc. And I think that's looking pretty good for us right now, I don't think he got like a black which we'll see. Okay, so he's using the dragon and... Like, we got two black knights, one orc and one executioner, it's looking pretty good. We just gonna teleport everything here to the bottom lane, speed them up, we're gonna use executioner right here in the top lane. Okay, let's see now, can he stop that? I don't think so. I hope not. But seems like he's taking care of something right there, we need a heal spell right now, guys, we need a heal spell. I'm just gonna use this, we're gonna use the mud. Guys, can we do it? We got so many troops right there in the bottom lane. Guys, we got it. Perfect. What a game. Alright, let's see what the next card will be. Can we get like the Boneyard? Would be pretty awesome. Let's see. Standby. Alright, so... I think we need to remove the Standby actually, so we're just gonna remove that for now. And next card we got the Inferno. So now we can't really do that much with the hand that we got. I'm just gonna remove the Black Knight, and we'll keep a very defensive hand. Okay, now we got the, the Boneyard, so we're just gonna go for that. And now with the Boneyard, we'll probably see which Shaman is the real one. Okay, so the Shaman is in the bottom lane, we're gonna use the Orc on that. And Skeletons, they will not take care of the Fana, so I don't want to use the Inferno on it either. Maybe now when he did use the Arrows or the Archers with that as well. Okay, now let's use the Inferno here on the Shaman instead, save the Orc. And now let's go with this, and then let's go with the Black Knight. Like Orc, that's gonna do a bit of damage, not too much. 
Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna go with the Black Knight in the top lane instead, and then we use the arrows. So we're gonna hit all those four archers, and then we need to do something about the Fanazer as well. Okay, so we use the Arch Queen. We're gonna go with the Arch Queen instead first. He used the Resurrection, absolutely nothing perfect for us. And it's going to use a Hollow Knight versus the Man that is no match. So now we got the Hollow Knight on our side as well, that's perfect. And that Black Knight left alone will do tons of damage. Let's see, guys. One hit. And we got the victory. Look at that, guys. So said we will turn this around. And what do we have? Like 4 or 5 victories in a row right now. So right now it's looking really good for us. Really good. Okay, what we could do now, guys, when we get the double mantle is that we use both of them and then try to get a Black Knight out. Like, that can kind of be a huge gamble, but it might work. Okay, so the boner just when I use the mana draw. Okay, now it's looking pretty good. Do we use, like... I'm just gonna use the work. I don't really want to use it, just because we did use the mana troll. So the mana troll was kind of a waste, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, got some of the skeletons out, we're gonna use the Inferno there top lane, take care of most of them. And then, let's go with Mana Troll, and then let's use the Executioner. Like, those skeletons, they will do so much damage, like, we need to get rid of them. So let's go with the Executioner, right, the one swing, they're out. And now we can use the Stanmore teleport the Executioner to the bottom lane, unless it's gonna take care of it. Okay, perfect, we got one more to deal with all those skeletons, look at that. And we'll use like a, a black witch, we don't know. Lightning right, let's use a heal spell, bring it all back. Now let's go with the mother in the top lane as well. And it seems like he's running with kind of a spam deck with Skeletus Legion, the Boneyard. I think he got archers, maybe I'm mixing that up with the with the last game. But again, spam decks, it's good to keep the executioners alive, like that will do a ton of work. Okay, so the shaman there that is in the top lane, we're just gonna use a black knight. Okay, wrong lane, so we're gonna push it all back, or we cannot teleport them with the Stanber. Look at this, guys, now we got the Deadly Calm there with the Executioner, we got the Black Knight. Like, it's gonna be over, guys, it's gonna be over. Yes, guys, there we go, perfect. Like, that is such a good combo to use the Stanber and then have the Black Knight and the Executioner in the same lane. Just because the opponent can't use, like, the Orchers or, like, Skeletons, anything like that. Yes, because the execution will take care of them. Okay, so let's see now, guys. I'm just gonna remove the Black Knight for now. Let's see the next card. We got Executioner, alright. So I could go with the Mana Troll, but just because it did use the Boneyard, I'm just gonna keep down as we got. Sternburn, no big loss. So we're just gonna wait and then use Arrows. I'm just gonna hit the Orc in that as well, and then we can use our Orc versus his. Kind of low in health there at the or with the with the orc there in the mid lane. So we're just gonna go with the orc battle right there, orc versus orc, and then I'm gonna try to get out the mud versus his. Let's see. Okay, he took care of ours. That's not good, guys, and his is super low. But mud should do it there versus the second one. We're gonna use this. We're gonna use this, and then we're gonna try to get out the black knight. He has to use the black witch there versus the. Versus the mud, so I don't think. Oh, what a lucky demon! That's super lucky. Just when we use the black knight, right? But don't worry, guys. We did get the hills right there. Now we get the inferno versus skeletons, and now it's looking kind of good for us, I would say. All right, maybe not that good, just because they did take care of our black knight right there. Okay, so we need to get our cards out. We need to deal with these skeletons. Like we got so low castle left right now, we, we can't afford to lose anymore. So we're gonna use this, we're gonna use this, and then get a Black Knight out. And I might try to use a heal spell on the Executioner. I'm gonna wait with that commit, Sandber. We got the Executioner, we got the Orc. I'm just gonna use the Executioner. And he got a Black Knight, that's super lucky. So we're just gonna use the heal spell on that, and he got a second Black Knight. Guys, I don't think we can stop this. We got the Executioner arrows. That would probably not do it. Let's see. Okay, it's pretty much over, guys. Damn it, guys. We got like 5-6 victories in a row, like it had to end sometime. Guys, I think we wanna do one more battle and then we're gonna end the video, so let's go. Okay guys, let's see if we can get a victory now for the last game, would be perfect. Let's see, and I don't think we got to like the perfect starting end, we'll see. Okay, so starting with the warrior might be kind of a rush deck that we're facing right now. 
Okay, so now we got five mana. We can use the mana control, and then a mud or executioner. I think we're gonna go with the mud. Let's go for that. There we go. And we do have the inferno for skeletons and the black, which is using a executioner. So I think. Okay, so we're gonna use the mana control, and then we're gonna use a black knight. I don't want to waste the mana control there for a boneyard. Otherwise, I would use the boneyard instead. So we are ready with Inferno, Fast Inferno. Yes guys, we saved the Black Knight, perfect. So now I think we need to use a Executioner right there in the bottom lane, yeah, so we can save our our castle off and take care of the Warrior as well as the, the Executioner. And it doesn't seem like he's dealing with our, our Black Knight and just going straight offensive right there with the Executioners. And guys, we got the victory, look at that. So perfect game right there to end the video with. Alright, but guys, if you're looking for a good rush deck, definitely try this one if you want to. Alright, but guys, this is it for today's video, and guys, I will see you next time.